My name is Dr. Bruce Lee. I'm a gynecologist, um, and I'm the inventor of the assessor procedure, which is radiofrequency ablation of uterine fibroids. Uh, I initially practiced clinical medicine uh, in Monterey, California, and then I developed this procedure, uh, a minimally invasive outpatient procedure using laparoscopic ultrasound guided uh, radiofrequency ablation. And it's proven to be a very effective means and very patient-friendly means of treating this very common problem of uterine fibroids. I'm currently located in Los Angeles, California in Beverly Hills, and I've created a fibroid treatment center there, as well as at a local hospital. Over 80% of African-American women and almost 70% of Caucasian women have fibroids by age 50. The majority of women develop fibroids, that's just the bottom line and there's really no way to prevent them from developing. So it's very important to find a minimally invasive type of procedure that can identify more fibroids and can treat more fibroids. Laparoscopic myomectomy, unfortunately, doesn't really do that. Most of the time, there are maybe two or three or four, at the most, myomas removed for laparoscopic myomectomy. And now there are issues, unfortunately, with uh, how to remove those myomas from the body with the FDA statement on usage of a power morse loader. With uterine artery embolization, that's a procedure that uh, can be very effective. However, there's a fairly significant complication rate and a very high failure rate at uh, one, two, and three years. There's a 29% of adverse event rate from uterine artery embolization around the procedure. So that's why there's such a need, and I feel that the uh, assessor procedure does meet that need. The procedure itself can be very brief depending upon the number of myomas and their size um, because the more numerous, obviously, the more time involved and also the larger myomas do take longer to, to ablate thoroughly uh, than a smaller myoma. However, the average in our trials was about two hours. It's outpatient, so patients go home the same day. Most of my patients do not require any narcotics for pain relief. I just treat with non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Also, they generally return to work in about three to four days. But again, when there are only two small incisions, one five millimeters and one 12 millimeters, the recovery can be quite rapid. Most of the women uh, who I uh, speak to who inquire about other procedures have been advised on multiple occasions to have a hysterectomy. But when there are only about 166,000 hysterectomies done, which is a large number, but compared to the 9 million symptomatic U.S. women, uh, it's a very small number. Um, so most women are choosing not to have a hysterectomy, even though that has been the most common procedure um, and is currently the most commonly advised procedure. So our patients are telling us that this is not what they want. They want a different a, a procedure that offers them a different set of outcomes. That's why I designed this procedure to be what it is. I designed it to be patient-friendly. I designed it to treat fibroids in every area of the uterus. It's more suitable for today's woman. Today's woman is a working woman. Today's woman is a very busy person who is trying to wear multiple hats of being a mother, a homemaker, a wife, a worker, and, and to keep juggling all those balls in the air at all times. Um, they, they need a procedure that they can recover quickly from, and they need a procedure that works. Um, and they need a procedure that can retain the uterine function. And I believe that this procedure does that.